Welcome to another Let's Play. Now, you're wondering why I'm choosing this one right here, Banjo-Kazooie. Well, I'll get into that while we start the episode, but I'm just gonna let this little solo play. Very catchy, isn't it? <laughs> but, um, yes. Uh, this next plus play right here is definitely going to be about Banjo-Kazooie right here. So, without further ado, after this song gets started, or gets done, really, I want to be straight up with you whenever we go through the entire game. God, the music's so good in this game. I love the starting part. There we go. And with that, our adventure will start with Banjo-Kazooie. Now, here's the reason why I wanted to play this game. Um, the reason why I wanted to play this game was because I want to tackle something that I've never really beaten before. And yes, I've never beaten Banjo-Kazooie. I've never played through all the way through it. I've played through some of it, but I've never played through all of it. And I know it's a shame that I've never really beaten this game, so... And actually, this is um, how far I've actually gotten into the game for, like so far. Um, we're actually playing on the Xbox One right now uh, because it has a port, a uh, rare replay, and it has like all of these other games. Are you sure you press A to confirm or B to cancel? I'm gonna erase this save data right here just to start up fresh and clean and new, you know, just to start a new Let's Play, you know? Okay, guys, so without further ado, we have game one that's empty, uh, game two that's empty, and by the way, if you want to know, we're actually in um, in a um, Banjo's house right here, so, uh, so if you want some familiarity, like that's where he is, and I love the three, uh, si uh, the three safe files uh, where Banjo's just asleep right here, and then you have Banjo cooking like something, I don't know, <laughs> the goldfish. And then you have Banjo just playing uh, his Game Boy or like playing on like a console right here. I love how blocky it is. It, it, it's supposed to represent a um, Game Boy Color, but um, it's just too blocky to be one. But anyways, without further ado, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to start on game one. Yahoo! <laughs> uh, I'm definitely gonna let uh, let this whole thing play out and everything like that. Make sure to get some like context in this game. So, um, right here. Well, actually, I'm just gonna voice it out right here. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who's the nicest looking wench? Oh, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. <laughs> Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. <laughs> Pregnant pause here. Uh, but there is this girl. What? You mean this cannot be? There's no one prettier than me. Oh, it's Tony, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, no, no! You must be mad! Nicer beauty can't be had! Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tony. She's cute and kind. <laughs> She's like, I'm not putting up with this shit. Well, we'll see about that! Oh, God. 
Well, that was uh, Gruntilda. You didn't know she's the main villain of this story. And oh, oh, look at Tootie. She's a, she is adorable. Just a small boy. And we have our resident. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. And we have our main hero over here, sleeping his ass off. Lazy ass. Now we got our chicken. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised you could hear that there, Kazooie. If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll see her who looks and ugly she'll be. Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Well, you're not turning your head. Up there in the sky. Well, Tootie, you're not really turning your head. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh no, she got her. Somebody, help. Banjo, wake up. Now. <laughs> what do you want, Kazooie? I'm trying to get my feet asleep. Let's go outside. There's trouble. Ah! <laughs> Jesus! Okay. Well, here's the name of the game in this game. The person that I just fucking stole our sister right here. Her name is Gruntilda. She is the main villain of the series. Well, I would say series, but honestly, there's only like about three games of Banjo-Kazooie. But yes, she is the main villain of the story. Um, obviously, if you couldn't tell, um, she wants to steal Tootie, our sister, so she can make herself pretty. So we have to stop her, otherwise, you know, our our sister our, well let's let's look at it this way our sister literally got kidnapped so that's just the name of the game right here so with that we're going on an adventure to save her and we're gonna be like the amber alert assistant here so we can at least just hope against hope that we actually save her and we have our first encounter with uh, bottles Listen up! I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole! I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazoo. Here is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. I'm gonna accept the training. I still need to remember all the controls in this game. Yes, yes, shut up. Right, right, right. You like some health balls? What do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press X to call me. See you soon. So yes, um, if you couldn't tell with this game, it is a platformer. Well, obviously by how I'm jumping and also um, how everything looks. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but yes, we're gonna follow his. We're gonna follow Bottles' rules. Um, anytime you see a molehill, it's gonna look like this right here. So all you gotta do is just press X on it just to um, get some advice from him. Usually, um, regular controls aren't that hard, but honestly. With this game, I like to play, like, play out the tutorial. Just, you know, to show people. 
Also, to just to explain myself, usually I don't, like I said, I've never really played that game that much. So I would really like kind of like a heads up. So here's Bottles again. Ooh, anyone home? Well, yes, Banjo. Hello again. Let's start with the camera controls. They're on the right stick. Geez, that's nothing special. Try this then, Vicky. Tap the right or left bumper to move the camera behind Banjo. That old warm breath. No, hold the right or left bumper to keep the camera behind your feathery butt. Try it out. I'll see you in the next mojo. So yeah, this is just a tutorial part right here. Um, like I said, I'm on an Xbox One controller. So uh, basically, like like the game says, um, in order to control the camera, you use the right stick. So that's how it's going to be, and that's how it's going to go. Obviously, um, I think you can you can change it in the help and options section, you know, for your controls if you want to change it up, you know. Um, other than that, uh, let's keep continuing. We're gonna go left right here. Talk to bottles again. Hmm, your jump could do with some help. Ah, what do moles know about jumping? More than you. Press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. Just did that. Come on, feathers. You can give him help. Why? I'll look silly. I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. That's it. We're ready to move on. Not until you learn this one. First, you must stand like this. What? Wearing a ridiculous glasses and silly grin? I'm not listening. Hold the right or left trigger, then press A for the mighty flat flip jump. So, um, if you're familiar with uh, Super Mario 64, um, basically this is going to be like your backflip jump. There you go. That's all the jumps. Keep practicing. So these little courses also, um, for a tutorial, what they're going to do is they're actually going to... Um, show you this right here so what i'm going to be doing is i'm obviously just going to be trying to collect these little honeycombs right here so the best thing to do right here is just to uh backflip jump in order to get to this right here so just backflip jump and here's your hexagonal hex hexagonal honeycomb and the game will expand i'm an extra honeycomb Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. So, like it says, um, collect six of those in order to uh, get more life bar right there. And uh, I don't really know uh, a lot about the end game of Banjo Kazooie. I know a lot about the early game though. So, and with that, we're gonna go to the right right here to talk to bottles again. These weird looking rocks. <laughs> My beat barge attack needs the help of old chicken legs. At least I've got some legs, short stuff. Hold the right or left trigger, then press X for a powerful beaky barrage. Or barge, sorry. <laughs> barrage. But yes, like, uh, if you crouch right here and then press the X button right here, you can destroy boulders. See, Banjo? She is useful for something. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars. So, like I said, like, um, I like this attack mostly because it moves you while you also, like, are on the ground. And you're also, uh, duck. You're ducking. And with that, we just destroy all the boulders. And with that, we get another hexagonal life up. So with that, there's two out of the six. Um, the tutorial part, what it likes to do, it can actually, um, it's just gonna give you an extra life part off the bat. And trust me, we're gonna be wanting to find all of that, because there's definitely parts where this, this game does get a little bit tougher, and I don't really, like I said, I only know, like, kind of, like, the beginning part of this game, up to the middle. I do not know all about it, so it's gonna be trial and error, I might get my ass kicked. 
Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press X when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. Well, what can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with the challenge. Ah, oh, there's Topper. Whack him with Banjo. Just whack him with it. Just whack him with this mole. <laughs> I'm the mole. I'm Bottles. <laughs> Sorry. So, um, in order to do this attack, obviously, you just press the X button. And he'll just, and Banjo will go forward. Just to smack the shit out of this carrot. Wow. Nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. Alright, Falco. There we go. Now try my fearsome fear roll. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing the X button. I'll see if I can find a ball for you to practice on. And we're going to mow some onions down with a running attack. Um, in order to do this, you got to go like forward and start running and then press the X button. It's basically like Link's forward roll. Bullseye! One more! Stop rolling! I feel sick! So yeah, um, all you gotta do really is just run and press the X button. I actually like the barrel roll attack. It's time for the buzzard to learn a trick. And it better be a good one, Squinty. Turn out the rat attack rat by jumping up and pressing the X button in the air! Now where's Cobby Wobble? So, with this one, you gotta jump up and press the X button to attack with Kazooie. Hey hmm. Not bad, Feather Face! Give me another one, Brother Bull Guy. Bull Guys? <laughs> Stupid. But, anyways. Yeah, all you gotta do right here is just jump up. Uh, usually, jump the apex and then up to the apex of the jump in order to get it. You learned all of the basic attacks now. See you around. And with that, another honeycomb. So, uh, the big thing I haven't explained yet really is, oh, well, enemies will start appearing now, so just be careful. And by the way, that's uh, health. Mm, I'm sticky, tasty honey energy. So yeah, that's just for your health. Um, just to make sure. Also, um, we're gonna be learning, obviously, the re rest of the basics right here, but... Uh, let's actually see if we can get to the castle real quick before we actually end it off, uh, end off the episode. Because I know this game is really long, and it's really arduous, but I really want to get to the castle before we start, uh, before we end the episode off. And here's another, uh, bottles. Oh, hill. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ooh, sounds difficult. And I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo. I'm gonna swim. Spill the beans, Becky. Use the left stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater, press X to dive. Go on, give it a try. Alright. So, with this, obviously, swimming right here, just use the left stick. And then, uh, obviously, when Bottle said, press the X button. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his feet or his legs, and the winged wonder can press X to use her wings. So, yeah, that's how you swim right here. Uh, usually I like to use, um... Oh, sorry. Uh, usually I like to use Kazooie's, uh, breath breaststroke in order to actually move around in the water. Um, Banjo's kick's kind of lazy. And I'm, well, not really lazy, but more just, uh, it's just less useful compared to the breaststroke, uh, from Kazooie. And with that, we got another, uh, honeycomb right there. So, uh, how many do we actually have? I think we have four now. But anyways, here's another lesson from Bottles. <laughs> Hey, Banjo! I hope you're not afraid of heights! I'm not. Tell me about... Tell me about flying, Root Launcher. Not yet, Banjo! Jump onto a tree and then use... 
the left stick to climb up or down. That's it. You've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spire mountain, and I'll tell you what to do next. So with that, all of the uh, skills that we have now is done. You'll find plenty of other things to climb. And like I said, um, Bottles is just going to be the person in this game to try to tell us about almost everything. It's kind of annoying, but I'm pretty sure we won't, I mean, I'm pretty sure we won't have that much trouble with just going through this game right here. And here's another honeycomb right here. That's number five. And if you see the last one over here out in the distance, it's on that ledge right here. Now, what you got to do, just jump the apex right here. There you go. Can you see this waterfall? Uh, what I like to do is... I think... You can just jump the apex and make the jump right there. And with that, you have all six. Oh, yeah. We got six lives. Oh, not six lives. We got six health. And if you see right there, um, the way I'm doing this, I'm, pre I'm pressing Y to look through uh, first person for the camera. You see that little statue right there, right? Well, I'm gonna try. There we go. Look out for me. I'm an extra life. Now, with that, that was an extra life right there you can get. And you don't really have to worry about, like, dying anytime soon with extra lives, obviously. So with that, we have four lives, and we have six health right there. So we're going to make it up to the top of the spire, like Bottle said. Let's try to get over there. And I think when I get up here, we're going to end it off, and we're going to save going into Gruntilda's, Gruntilda's castle later. All right, guys? So with that, this is the first episode. Well, first we're going to finish this. Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. And with that, I think we're going to end it off right here. Uh, we're actually going to get into uh, the first part of the levels in this game in the next episode. Oh, by the way, here's the plot right here. Oh, poor Tootie. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and Tootie old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo. Press that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Banjo! Help! Aww. Don't worry, Tootie, we'll save you. We're not saving you this episode, unfortunately. There he is! The fun begins! My tricks and traps will see who wins! <sighs> and with that, our adventure has started already. Alright, guys? So with this, I think I'm going to end it off, and I'm going to see you guys in the next episode where we go to the first uh, the first actual level of the game. And I'll give you guys a sneak peek right here. Right here, here's the first level of the game right here. And this is what it's called. It's called Mumbo's Mountain. All right, yeah, 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 shut up. <laughs> shut up. I heard enough of you, Bottles. But anyways, um... I think we're gonna end it off right here, guys, and we're gonna hit and tackle Mumbo's Mountain and whatever, whatever else Gruntilda throws our way in the next episode, okay, guys? This has been Inferno Nomad, and I'm signing off. Have a good day, everybody.